Did you know the Challenger Deep is so deep, Mount Everest could drown in it with over one mile of water still above its peak? Nestled in the Mariana Trench, this abyss plunges to 36,070 feet, dwarfing Everest's 29,032 feet. To put that in perspective, if you dropped Everest into the Challenger Deep, its summit would sit two Empire State Buildings below the surface. The pressure here? A bone-crushing 16,000 psi equal to 50 jumbo jets stacked on your thumb. The first humans to brave this hellscape were Jacques Picard and Don Walsh in 1960 aboard the Trieste. Their bathyscaphe's window cracked at 32,400 feet. Yet they reached 35,814 feet spotting shrimp-like life in a realm once deemed lifeless. Decades later, James Cameron's Deep Sea Challenger in 2012 and Victor Vescovo's Limiting Factor in 2019 smashed records hitting 35,853 feet, proving tech now outswims Titanic-era gear. But how? The Mariana Trench forms where the Pacific Plate dives under the Philippine Plate creating a subduction zone deeper than the Grand Canyon. Despite the darkness, life thrives, translucent sea cucumbers, amphipods and microbes feast on marine snow drifting from above. Scientists even found Xenophyophore as giant single-celled organisms lurking in the ooze. Why care? This trench holds clues to Earth's geology, extremophile biology, and even origins of life. Yet only 27 people have visited versus over 6,000 Everest summiteers. So next time you complain about traffic, imagine piloting a sub through pitch black, seven mile deep pressure, where a single leak means instant implosion. Drop a wave if you trade your mountain hike for a dive into the abyss.